Hey, I assume your desktop looks somewhat like this, and today we're gonna turn it into something like this. The first thing that you obviously want to do is clean your desktop icons. Just move them to whatever folder, do whatever you want, just don't let them clutter on your desktop. The next thing we want to do is clean our taskbar. To do that, just right click your taskbar, select settings, uncheck these boxes, hide the search bar and select to automatically hide your taskbar. After we did these things, we need to change our cursor. For doing that, pick a cursor from my Discord server, drop down to cursors and wallpapers, and pick a cursor you like. I'm gonna pick this one, click free download, and do what I do. After you downloaded it, unzip it and find an installation file, right click it and install. Go into your settings, themes, mouse cursor and then select the one you just downloaded. After we did all this, we need to change our start menu. To do that, download start11 from my description, double click the setup file and install. You're gonna have three options and I'm gonna go with 30 day trial. Just enter an email and activate it. Select your taskbar to be center aligned. If you want menu like I have, click Windows 10 style. What we have right now is this and we obviously need to change some things up in order for it to be pretty. Copy the settings that I have in configuration. And in advanced settings, we need to disable recently added apps and app list. It's gonna look like this and now we need to add the apps that we want pinned. Click on app list, select the app you want, right click it and pin to start 11. To change the icon, right click the app, icon, pick custom dial image and then right click again, icon and hide caption. And you may be wondering, well how does one acquire such icons? Well, no worries, because I got you covered. In my Discord server, I'll have two PSD files for a regular and a wide icon, and I also left a pack of icons that I am currently using. Open the PSD file, either in Photoshop or Photopea. The thing you want to do first is change the text. I'll be making an icon for Microsoft Store. Find a background you want to use, then change the color of this by clicking Ctrl U. Find an icon and don't forget to move it above the shadow. After doing so, export it. Now again, right click, select the icon we just made and hide caption. Once we are done with doing all this, we can move on to the wallpaper. Again, in my Discord server, in cursors and wallpapers, I'll leave a wallpaper I'm gonna use right now and some others as for PNG file and WE. In case you don't have wallpaper engine, I highly recommend you getting it because it's only $3 and it's amazing. And last but not least, but very optional thing is rain meter. Then download the clock from my discord again in cursors and wallpapers, double click the file we downloaded and install. By default it's gonna open all the skins, so just click the ones you don't want and unload them. Personally, I don't really see the clock fitting into this wallpaper, so I'd rather go without it. And this is the final result we have. Beautiful start menu, beautiful wallpaper, everything customized. And I hope you liked this video and I hope I made your desktop better. All the links are down below and in my Discord server. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell and see you next time. Bye bye.